Hello and welcome to another episode of Blockchains Explained. I'm your host Cosmo and today we will be talking about Solana, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come to talk about Solana. Uh, Solana is actually the most talked about consumer chain at the moment. And that's why I know a bunch of you have been uh, waiting this Solana explanation video. Uh, because uh, for a, a lot of you, you know Solana is the most likely chain to get into first. Uh, because of reasons we're going to get into soon. Uh, so let's get into some of the technicalities of Solana. You know, Solana uh, is actually uh, quite a fast blockchain. It's quite a popular blockchain and it's also quite a fast blockchain, right? Uh, it can put up, you know, like 40, 50, even 60,000 transactions per second, per second. You know, te theoretically, they can go up to 700,000, but it hasn't happened yet, you know. Uh, compared to these other chains, I mean, you can see here their throughput. Um, and on Ethereum, um, it's actually a bit more, uh, but you know, it's it's like, you know, 15 to 20 transactions per second because a block usually takes about 10 seconds and it's about like, you know, 250, like, yeah, 150, 200 transactions that go into each block. Uh, it's actually much cheaper. And that's why it's also super duper popular chain is that it's it's super duper cheap. And uh, to, to send one of these transactions over, you can see, you know, it's like with $1, you can basically send uh, about 100,000 transactions, which is like, crazy and unheard of compared to these compared to these other chains i mean it is it is heard of you know there, there are a bunch of other chains and you know there's a, a few chains that also have it like you know free but you know compared to like more traditional like you know solana or like you know especially bitcoin or other chains like it's it's like you know pennies literally like less than pennies on the dollar and it's also like very fast you know technically technically it's very fast you know a block uh, is actually like about 0 0.5 seconds on Sol on ethereum it's about like 10 seconds per block but it needs about like 35 blocks in order to say that the transaction is final uh, you know it needs to do background checking solana actually you know just like, okay one block is done boom bye bye and then the consensus mechanism so like on ethereum is proof of stake which used to be proof of work like we talked about it in the last video and on solana it's actually proof of history which is basically a proof of stake with timestamps right uh, and we're not going to get into the technicalities of it. I know you're not really here for the technicalities, but just so you know, some basic stuff, you know, it also uses the Rust programming language uh, as opposed to the Solidity, which uh, also means that the blockchain itself is built fundamentally different than Ethereum, which also allows for these other things. And, you know, like um, the, the founder is actually saying, and the, the, there is research to back that uh, there's more so transactions on Solana happening uh, per second than on Ethereum and all of their layer twos combined. Uh, so, you know, people are like, Solana is actually bragging with this, but the the bad thing, the bad thing uh, is that Solana network is mainly congested. And uh, that's one of the one of the major, you know, faults of the network and one of the major faults of the transactions being so cheap and of there being so many transactions per second. Uh, is that you know the network is mainly congested because because a lot of these bots are are running the network a lot of these bots are basically clogging up the network because it's so cheap to run these transactions uh you know i mean think about it with like one dollar you can run about a hundred thousand transactions you know 50 to a hundred thousand transactions uh, that basically means that you know you can have these bots to basically like clog the network because you, you load up like i don't know ten dollars into this bot and it can do like a million transactions right so it's just gonna try 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 to do all of these things you know very short very uh you know small amount of arbitrage whereas you know like on networks like ethereum it wouldn't be worth it you know to like to to clog the network and you know trade like you know 0 0.001 dollar for you know like 0 0.0012 two dollars uh, you know, in order to get onto this trade, because the 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 network would would basically, I mean, the the fee would be higher. Uh, but on Solana, it's it's like cheaper. So there's a lot of bots that are doing this very tiny arbitrage. There's a lot of bots that are running all these all other kinds of transactions, and they're basically clogging up the network so much, so much uh, that you can see, you know, in about a month, uh, there's like about seventy one percent of of transactions that fail. You know. Now this number varies uh, depending on the month. Sometimes, you know, there's like 30%, sometimes there's, you know, 70%, uh, you know, it really depends. Um, but on a, on, a, on a popular month, on a month when, you know, like, hey, um, there's a lot of activity for, for good reason uh, on chain, um, there's a lot of bots that are basically just clogging up the network and, you know, about 70% of these transactions can fail. Uh, so don't be surprised if, you know, you send the transaction 
and it fails and the, the people are actually the 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 ones that are taking the biggest hit for this um because you know like a, a bot will just do it again but for you you know like sometimes you have to try quite a few times in order to send the transaction to see it follow through sometimes you know like when you're trading when you're minting something when you want to run it um there are there are some issues so just be aware of this uh it it might happen uh quite often actually now a lot of people are saying that you know Solana is going to be is going to to surpass Ethereum. Solana is the new Ethereum. Everybody's like you know raging, raging, raging about Solana, and uh, you know there is some cause for that. Now I'm not one of those people. I think Ethereum is uh, going to continue to surpass Solana uh, for uh, several reasons. Uh, a few reasons would basically be this that we just talked about that you know hey even though transactions are slower on Ethereum. Uh, the network is not as congested. The network is not as congested, and because uh, because of that, there's more safety and there's more security for people that actually have you know larger amount of transactions. So you know, for people that are trading quite a few dollars, you know, like 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 only a few dollars, like five dollars, thirty dollars, hundred dollars, or even you know quite a few thousand, like you know, Solana is is okay, and there's a lot of these people here. Whereas on Ethereum, you know, like it's it's a much safer chain for people that are trading millions, for people that are, you know, like, you know, for example, for real world assets. Like if we're talking about like, hey, selling a house, it's going to be safer on Ethereum. And yeah, you're, you're going to want to pay like, I don't know, imagine wanting to sell a million dollar property. You want to pay like, you know, five, 10, 50, 100, 200 dollars for the transaction fee. Like it really doesn't matter. And this keeps the bots away actually for from trying to you know to 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 do things with your house from trying to buy it from trying to sell it from trying to do this all this arbitrage and like you know it, it's just not worth it for for the bots on this network and a lot of like legit companies with legit projects they are choosing ethereum for this for this reason now don't take my word for granted take everything with a grain of salt you know do your own research but i remember when i was helping some projects uh you know some real world asset projects launch they would pick it, ethereum because of this particular thing and you know that, that that's why there's like you know quite a few billions of dollars in wa assets on ethereum and why i don't know how many is on solana i mean i don't even know if it's a thing but just you know We'll keep that in mind when we're talking about like you know oh ethereum being surpassed by solana now a lot of people are saying solana is the best because you know a lot of people are making money on uh, solana because a lot of people are trading these things called meme coins guys meme coins are super duper extra popular on solana and it's probably why you heard about solana it's probably why everybody's talking about solana and it's probably why when you're researching these chains or when you're researching you know like when to buy this coin solana is basically popping up because a lot of the meme coins are on solana and there has been a lot of you know frenzy a lot of meme coin season because there is you know meme coin season alt season there is you know some other seasons depending on where we are in the bull market but there have been a couple of meme coin season very recently and a lot of these meme coins are being traded on solana guys now there's thousands there's literally thousands of these meme coins being being launched on solana every day and very very few of them actually survive you know like most of them will go to zero very few of them will you know like make you know two five ten even hundred even five hundred x on solana so just keep that in mind and yeah that's why it's actually super important for us to talk about solana and that's why it's important for you to, to start doing your research because let's face it guys everybody's into it for the money everybody wants those sweet sweet gains baby everybody's into it to to get rich maybe overnight maybe over the bull market you know like uh, there's no such thing as a get rich quick um unless you get really really lucky but crypto is you know a little bit of like a short to medium term game maybe even the long game if you're super duper into investing but if you're looking to make money in crypto i actually like that that's what we're talk, going to talk about in the next episode how to make money in crypto you know how to how to learn how to do some research onto this project how to learn to protect yourself from some of these rugs how to learn um how to how to actually like make some money in crypto and I'll be sharing some of my secrets, how I've been doing it, how my friends have been doing it, and how we're actually, you know, able to like learn a pretty good living and to live a pretty good life using crypto and using blockchain technology. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode. Now, always, you know, do your own research. And that's what the next episode is going to be. You can look into Solana, start looking into Solana, start looking into some of these meme coins. And in the next episode, we're going to talk on how to actually make money in crypto. 
Until then, thank you everyone for watching. It has been lovely to, to speak with you or for you to listen to me. If you actually like this video, uh, please like it down below. If you want more videos like this, subscribe. If you want to talk about uh, you know, Solana, if you want to talk about some of these meme coins that are being traded on Solana or on other blockchain, you can join our community and the link is in the description. And uh, if you have questions, comment your questions, I'll make sure to answer them. And then uh, peace and happy trading.